After leaving the U.S. Virgin Islands, we had a tough upwind sail through the Anagata Passage to arrive at St. Martin. This stop was going to be a quick one, and we dropped the hook in Marigot Bay on the French side of the island in order to pick up some boat parts, food, and unwind from the stress of the last few weeks. Fortunately for us, St. Martin is a large cruiser's hangout, and we had lots of time to spend with friends, both old and new. After only a few days, we pulled up the anchor in order to leave for what was to be our last overnight passage for quite a while. We sailed upwind again down to Antigua, where Amy's parents and uncle would be joining us for Christmas. I had some presents this morning, huh? Okay, so we got our first two fish day. Yeah. And it's probably something different than a tuna. Yeah, it's something not a tuna. This is a mackerel of some kind. Yeah. So that's exciting. Uh, the book says it's tasty. And a good fighter, which this guy was a good fighter. Yeah, he gave you a little bit of a run for it. Yeah, I mean, he's not huge, but he was tough to haul in. So that's exciting. Alrighty, yay! We cleared in at Jolly Harbor and spent a beautiful night at anchor. The next day, we made our way over to the local hangout, Castaways, in order to pick up our guests. Welcome to Antigua. Lisa, Bob, and Uncle Phil were all welcome to the country with yet another spectacular Caribbean sunset. With only a night's rest for our weary travelers, we set out on what ended up being a beautiful day for sailing. Our goal was to head up over the north side of the island and find some good snorkel spots, even if some of the crew needed a bit of a push to get in the water. Of weenies, I no longer have one. <laughs> we struggle a little bit there, Bob. supposed to be the Caribbean. This water's supposed to be warm. He can't do it. This water's supposed to be warm. Holy crap! <laughs> that was just wrong. That was just wrong. You're welcome. <laughs> Fortunately for me, all was soon forgiven. Well, mostly. Push me in the water. <laughs> we celebrated the spirit of forgiveness with another beautiful sunset and a few of Uncle Phil's famous margaritas. Let's just say they pack quite a punch.
After a rather late morning, our journey over the north side of the island continued as we headed over to Jumbie Bay. We figured this would be a good spot to hang out for a few days and celebrate Christmas. Little did we know that the resort on the island had a special surprise in store for us. After a Christmas to remember, we needed to start making our way south. Bob broke out his new GoPro and got some great shots of what ended up being our best ever sail with our spinnaker. The last leg was bumpy enough wind, and Uncle Phil was especially glad when we finally pulled into Falmouth Harbor. The harbor was pretty packed with cruising boats and mega yachts who had all arrived for the upcoming New Year's Eve party. We would be leaving before New Year's, but we were super excited to meet up with our friends Ryan and Tasha from the Helia Cheeky Monkey. They had just completed their Atlantic crossing, and we were thrilled to be able to help welcome them back to the Caribbean. We're here at Nelson's Dockyard in Antigua, and I think this place will be forever etched in my memory because this is the first time we have done an official Medmore with our anchor. Not the most fun trying to come in that way. No trip to English Harbor would be complete without a visit to Shirley's Heights for the Sunday night party. The view was absolutely stunning, and the entertainment kept the party going almost all night long. It's running. It's video, so move. <laughs> What's next? Hold your breath, hold your nose, and jump. As a Christmas gift, Lisa had organized a day of zip lining. We met up with Amy's cousins, who were to be our next guests aboard Starry Horizons, and spent the day flying among the trees. Zero contact, yep. That night, we hosted all 11 family members aboard Starry Horizons for dinner. Amazingly enough, everyone found a place to sit. It was really special for both Amy and me to have so much family with us to celebrate the holidays, as missing loved ones is the hardest part 
about going cruising. Yeah, you gotta be over there. <laughs> I gotta be over here? Yep. In the shot. <laughs> 